He is known for his influential book, The Essence of Christianity, which provided a critique of Christianity. He is recognized for strongly influencing prominent thinkers such as Charles Darwin, Karl Marx, and Friedrich Nietzsche. He is Ludwig Andreas von Feuerbach, a German anthropologist and philosopher. In the small town of Landshut, Germany, Ludwig Feuerbach was born into a family of esteemed scholars and philosophers. From a young age, he displayed an insatiable curiosity and a deep desire to unravel the mysteries of the world. His parents, recognizing his intellectual potential, urged him to delve into the various schools of philosophy. Feuerbach's journey led him to become an associate of the young Hegelian circles, a group of thinkers who sought to challenge traditional beliefs and explore new ideas. It was here that Feuerbach's atheistic and anthropological materialist views began to take shape. He questioned the existence of a higher power and dissected religion with a critical eye. His philosophical writings were groundbreaking, providing a profound analysis of religion and its place in society. Feuerbach argued that religion was a projection of human desires and ideals onto a divine figure. His work became a cornerstone for generations of thinkers, influencing luminaries such as Charles Darwin, Karl Marx, and Sigmund Freud. Feuerbach's ideas also played a pivotal role in the development of historical materialism, bridging the gap between the philosophies of Hegel and Marx. His belief in a materialist understanding of the world laid the foundation for a new way of thinking, one that emphasized the importance of the material conditions of society in shaping human thoughts and actions. As Ludwig Feuerbach's journey continued, his philosophical legacy grew stronger, leaving an indelible mark on the history of thought. His critical analysis of religion and steadfast advocacy for atheism shaped the trajectory of intellectual discourse, challenging conventional wisdom and paving the way for a more rational understanding of the human experience. Ludwig Feuerbach, a student of philosophy at the University of Heidelberg, had initially set out to pursue a career in the Lutheran Church. But as he delved deeper into the works of philosophers like Hegel, his interests began to shift. In 1824, he enrolled at the University of Berlin to study under Hegel himself, but soon, the influence of Hegelian philosophy started to wane. Feuerbach found himself drawn to a group called the Young Hegelians, or the Left Hegelians, who offered a radical interpretation of Hegel's ideas. They believed that Western culture, including Christianity, would eventually be superseded. Feuerbach, in particular, felt a strong pull towards nature and its depth. He expressed his dissatisfaction with theology, writing to a friend, I can bring myself to study no more. I long to take nature to my heart, that nature before whose depth the faint-hearted theologian shrinks back, and with nature man, man in his entire quality. These words became a turning point in Feuerbach's intellectual development. He completed his education at the University of Erlangen, focusing on the study of natural science. In 1828, he earned his doctorate with a thesis titled, De Infinitate, Unitate, At, Communitate, Rationis, Exploring Concepts of Infinity in Unity. Later that year, he habilitated at Erlangen with another thesis, this time titled, De Rationuna, Universally, Infinita, which explored the notion of universal reason. Feuerbach's philosophy emphasized the importance of embracing nature and understanding humanity in all its complexity. He believed that by reconnecting with nature, we could gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. Feuerbach's ideas challenged traditional religious beliefs and offered an alternative perspective on divinity and morality. Today, Feuerbach's philosophy continues to resonate as we navigate our daily lives. It reminds us to appreciate the beauty and depth of nature, encouraging us to seek meaning and fulfillment outside of religious dogma. Feuerbach's vision of embracing nature and embracing our own humanity can help us find a more authentic and fulfilling way of living. Ludwig Feuerbach, a renowned philosopher of the 19th century, was a man of deep intellect and unique insights into the nature of religion and human existence. In his early writings, he presented radical ideas that challenged the traditional beliefs of his time. One of his early books, published anonymously, titled Gedanken über Tod und die Unsterblichkeit, Thoughts on Death and Immortality, caused quite a stir with its attack on personal immortality and its advocacy for the Spinozistic concept of immortality through reabsorption in nature. However, Feuerbach's unorthodox ideas and his awkward manner of public speaking hindered his academic progress. Despite these setbacks, he continued to pursue his philosophical interests and published works like Gestik der Neuren Philosophy, History of Modern Philosophy, and Abelard und die Heloise. It was during this period that Feuerbach married and settled into a peaceful rural existence near Nuremberg, with the financial support from his wife's share in a small porcelain factory. Feuerbach's philosophical explorations also delved into the realms of theology. In two notable works, Pierre Bell and Philosophy und Christentum, Philosophy and Christianity, 
he boldly proclaimed that he had proven that Christianity has in fact long vanished not only from the reason but from the life of mankind, that it is nothing more than a fixed idea. These assertions challenged the deeply ingrained beliefs of his time and sparked controversy among religious scholars and intellectuals. Farbach's early writings laid the foundation for his later philosophical contributions and offered a fresh perspective on religion and its role in human life. His unique ideas and criticisms of Christianity helped to stimulate intellectual debate, encouraging individuals to question established dogmas and think critically about their beliefs. This notion of questioning and seeking truth is a valuable lesson that we can still apply to our daily lives. While Farbach's ideas may be considered radical or even controversial, they continue to inspire individuals to explore their own beliefs and challenge societal norms. By encouraging critical thinking and self-reflection, Farbach's philosophy can assist us in navigating the complexities of our existence and making informed decisions about our values and beliefs. Ludwig Farbach, a student of philosophy, found himself at odds with his professor, Hegel, when he presented his own theory. Undeterred by this rejection, Farbach delved into his own exploration of religion and its essence. In his groundbreaking work, Das Wiesen de Christentums, he sought to uncover the true nature of religion and its connection to human existence. Farbach's inquiry led him to examine the different aspects of God, viewing him as a being of understanding, moral law, and love. With each aspect, Farbach revealed how humanity, with its conscious nature, projected these qualities onto God. Humans, in contemplating various things, came to understand themselves and saw their own needs reflected in their conception of God. Farbach thus concluded that to find contentment in God, humans must find themselves in Him. Rather than believing in a separate existence of God, Farbach argued that God is nothing more than an outward projection of human nature. He called this projection a chimera, emphasizing that God's benevolence and divine qualities were dependent on human attributes. For Farbach, qualities themselves hold divine significance, and it is through religion that humans imagine and apply these meanings to their understanding of God. Farbach further explained that the attraction to religion stems from its belief in a divine force that acts within humans. This force embodies salvation, good dispositions, and actions, becoming an integral part of human existence. However, if humans were to remove all qualities from God, he would become a mere object, devoid of significance. Therefore, by giving qualities to God, humans create a connection to the divine, appealing to their imaginative and emotional nature. In the second part of his work, Farbach critiqued the theological essence of religion, particularly the belief in revelation and sacraments. He believed that these beliefs not only harm the moral sense of individuals but also poison the sense of truth. Farbach saw them as forms of religious materialism that breed superstition and immorality. Farbach's ideas faced criticism, including a scathing response from Max Stirner in his book, Der Einzige Uendi Sein Igentum. The ensuing exchange between Farbach and Stirner formed an instructive polemic that showcased differing perspectives on the essence of religion. Today, Farbach's philosophy continues to hold relevance in our daily lives. It prompts us to question the nature of religion and the projection of our own needs onto higher beings. By understanding the role of human imagination and emotion in our religious beliefs, we can navigate the complexities of faith and strive for a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.